All right, folks, so you got a brand new Mac and you wanna bring back the data from your old Mac. And if your old Mac is a MacBook Air or a Retina MacBook Pro or anything with a Thunderbolt connection, then you can do it the fast and very, very easy way. What you need is essentially a Thunderbolt cable. Beware that they are very, very short in nature. Um, that's how they look like. They're not inexpensive either, but do buy the original, it'll pay off the knocks off. Uh, the knockoffs are not worth it. The knocks off, <laughs> the knockoffs. All right, so I'm gonna show you what to do. Here is my old machine and I uh, will be upgrading. So the little challenge we have with this is that that cable is very, very short. The good way, the good thing about this is it's going to be extremely fast. All right, so let me show you how to get to this first of all. So this is my new computer here and we are at the setup screen. Let me show you so you know how that looks like. I'm gonna brighten that up a little bit. Um, it may look a little bit different. I still keep, um, in my case, I'm using Mac OS 10.9. I'm not using Yosemite, same thing. Just the splash screen might look a little bit different. And this is pretty much the same procedure for Lion, Mountain Lion, Mavericks, Yosemite, and going on forward, I believe so. Um, all right, so this is the computer. We need to put the new data onto this machine. Here's the old machine. It does have a Thunderbolt connector. How does that look like? That looks exactly like this. In this case, it's a 15 inch MacBook Pro. What you wanna look for is, it's started about 2011 and up. Even though it looks like a mini display port, it's actually a Thunderbolt connector. And you wanna look for that little Thunderbolt uh, logo. This is what's going to enable you uh, to do the high speed transfer. I hope this is coming in clean. Snap a photo as well. All right, so I'm gonna open this one up. And what's important with this computer here, we want this computer to be able to, this computer to be able to access this machine. So we have to start it in what's called target disk mode. So we are holding down the T key, holding down the T button while we start and it's immediately in target disk mode. That's very, very fast. So we have it here in target disk mode. And that was done by holding down the T key. So now I, my challenge is to bring um, my connectors together. <laughs> That's very easy, you just turn it around. By the way, my computer is not cracked and it's not that old actually, it's just that this cover here has a crack. Uh, it's my backup machine and I kind of take it lots of places so I don't mind that cover being like that. So what we do now is we connect both computers, Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt. Well, this is connected right now, all right. Let me put it closer together. Uh, disregard the memory stick in here. Use that to reinstall my operating system, but it is not really relevant. All right, so we're moving things into place. I'm gonna put this here so you actually see what's going on. Yes, there's a lot of computers here. Um, so this would also work with uh, a little MacBook Air here. That would per work perfectly so. nightmare with this gorilla pod, I'm telling you, don't do it. All right, so next steps are very, very easy. Hit continue. Um, this might, again, look a little bit different depending on where you are in your setup process. Um, this is Marvel Unlimited, by the way, love reading it. Um, this is where Captain America broke the Infinity Gems while, while trying to push back an alternate uh, parallel universe, uh, an incursion with Earth. So yeah, if you must know, I know, you didn't ask. Um, all right, so we're not connecting to a network at this point. I need to do that. So we can either choose don't transfer my information now or transfer my information. Let's go a little bit closer here. So we do have a zoom. This is what we're looking at and from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk. At this point, let me just tell you, we're doing the fastest possible transfer, which is 
Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt. It's faster than USB 3.0. Uh, it's faster than Firewire. So this is really fast. Of course, if you do have an external time machine backup, right, like I do have here, you could also restore that from a time machine backup, which is sometimes if you go to you know a store where you buy it, you can just bring that time machine back up and restore right there. And then in my case, I have about uh, 250 gigabytes, pretty close to it, 240 or so gigabytes to transfer. The faster, the better. This can take hours and hours. Some people have 512 gigabytes. So um, we don't want to wait that long. So I'm going to do from a time machine backup or startup disk and it's seeing the memory stick here not of relevance um, that's great thank you and we want to select the source this comes up in yellow it shows us that it's recognized as an external hard drive so this computer that we have here now on the side this guy here yes this guy is our external drive and the way the reason why that is is because it's in target disk mode and target disk mode means we are restarting the computer while holding down the T button T for target disk mode and earlier you saw on the splash screen it has that um, instead in the old school days you had like a firewire symbol there and now you do have a Thunderbolt symbol all right so I'm selecting this disk we're going on further and then it's gonna look up what we have on that machine and it's going to estimate the space needed and so forth. Documents and data is 104 gigabytes with applications. And the nice thing with documents and data is you can exclude certain things. So, for example, I have Dropbox. Let's say I didn't want to move Dropbox over. I have downloads. I didn't want to move to downloads. So you can be selective. That's very good. You don't have to always import everything. Some people don't want to bring over anything. In that case, disable everything and just keep that admin account. At least it'll bring over your emails uh, and anything that's stored uh, in your settings. All right. So we'll have that. So we'll 98 gigs here, 104 gigabytes here, and then there's some other things. So we're over 200 gigs and I'm going to transfer this right now and here it goes I got the power of Thunderbolt and hopefully we're gonna get an estimate on how long that's gonna take and here it goes 12 minutes remaining this is insane um, all right and once that is done all you have to do is go to the next set of uh, set up screens. They might be different depending on what version you are as I said before and you have to start using your Mac and it's going right back to where I left off. It's got my user account and it's gonna have all my settings or all your settings in that case. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget you still need to back up your existing new computer to a time machine or other software backup. Very important. Now that you get rid of your old computer, perhaps don't forget to safely erase it and you should look up disk encryption to do that. If you have a flash drive as you cannot easily uh, completely wipe data from a solid state drive. But that's another video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Bye.